What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Thursday, August the 18th, 2022. Today, we're going to talk about a platform called Pegasus. And as we all know, Pegasus has been having its withdrawal issues. We're going to talk about what we are going to do from here on out. Um, before I get started, I want to remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor, all right? I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less than that. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Now, a lot of you know that the, the communication has been pretty much strictly on Discord, um, and we are still trying to figure out what is going on with the withdrawal issues. Um, what they're saying pretty much is that, uh, well, from the start, what, what happened when they started having withdrawal issues was that their account that handled withdrawals, I guess their wallet handled withdrawals, something happened in an upgrade that they did and they ran out of money in that account or whatever. So they are trying to find a new way to handle withdrawals. But this literally has gone on for, you know, three, four days now it's been. Um, and when it comes down to platforms like this, look, they have no face. Uh, they were giving a few bit, a, a bit of trading proof and different stuff like that. But we already know we weren't putting this in the same category as a Novatech or a funds. You know, it was one of those things that was guaranteeing a 1.5% a day. And we all know um, what, what happens with sites that guarantee stuff, okay? You cannot guarantee anything in this space, all right? So when a platform goes as far as to guarantee that they're going to give you 1.5%, that's a part of the reason why I was saying, look, it's still paying still paying. Some people have an issue, had an issue with that when I was saying it. Of course, I understand you wanted to see Pegasus continue to have a, a flawless run. It's just been an amazing run that it's on. But these platforms can be here today and they can be gone tomorrow. And even though the platform is still here and it's up, like I'll show you guys where I am right now in the back office. I've got $3,000 plus that I have not been able to withdraw. I've got $47 worth of dividends. Of course, I can move my dividends to my, my balance. But when it comes down to withdrawing, you know, say if I want to withdraw $500 right now, I've been getting the same notice. Funds well, cannot, withdraw, fun, cannot withdraw funds without network fee of whatever. Maximum withdrawal balance is whatever. So that's what I've been experiencing. That's what a lot of us have been experiencing this whole time. Um, well, not this whole time, this, this last three, four days. So um, one of the notices that popped up in the Discord group, and I hope everyone is in the Discord group. If not, it is on the um, homepage of the website. I'm going to look for this announcement that um, they shared with one of the leaders. And they have not shared this with me in anything. So I'm just here to report what I see, right? Uh, so let's go. It says, oh, so let's let's talk about the initial problem, right? So the initial problem is, it's a pro well, what Pegasus is saying from the Discord group. It said, it's a problem between switching funds from the funding wallet to the payments wallet. When we want to add money to the wallet for payouts. We have a funding and payout address. We do not, uh, we don't like to keep a lot of money in the payments wallet in case of hacking or some other event. So when paying wallet is empty, we must transfer from one wallet to another. The wallet we use for that messed up something in the upgrade. And for that reason, the last few hours, we weren't able to transfer money from funding to payment wallet. That's why error showed. Okay, now this was a few days ago that they had mentioned that, all right? So we're talking about something that they said that they were having an issue for a few hours. Now it's been a few days, okay? If it was as simple as a coding issue, it seems like they are trying to even develop their own system in-house. Um, but I've also seen some other updates that would suggest that they could possibly be looking for a solution. Now, one of the solutions that I've heard that they've been thinking of is clearing all the balances to zero, all right? Because they are afraid that when they do live withdrawals again, that they the figure they gave was $2 million would be withdrawn from the platform like that, right? So I guess cumulative amount in people's, uh, um, or what's it called, in people's available balance is over $2 million, okay? Um, let's see. There's another, there's a, a YouTube, I think he's a YouTuber. He's been having some 
uh, Zoom calls as well. Uh, Marcos Caleb, he's been in communication with the Pegasus uh, admin, it seems like. Um, people are starting to share their feelings in this Telegram group. <laughs> So I'm going to try to find some some general information, but right now the main point of the the main issue is that, and, and we can go back and forth about how uh, what can happen here, what can happen there. But to be honest with you guys, I know better than that. Um, when a platform is having, when it's had red flags, we've mentioned those red flags, the different cashback stuff that they were asking, they were asking for influxes of new money, and that's their prerogative to do so by understanding this space. I understand that as a red flag. So of course I didn't add any new money. Um, there are still people adding new money even in the midst of uh, the platform not paying, okay? I don't reward a platform for not paying. We reward platforms for when they're paying. That's why I made the after launch deposit of $1,000, right? Because it had been doing its thing and you know we felt like up in the ante, but what it's doing right now and what they're saying it would do right now, um, I'm not really for that. Not really for that at all. And to be honest with you, in any other platform that has stopped paying for this long, we take down our link. Now, I had mentioned on Tuesday that if it wasn't resolved by Wednesday at noon, right? Now, mind you, today is Thursday and it's 9 a.m. my time on Eastern time. If they hadn't fixed the withdrawal issues, we would be removing our links, all right? So that is exactly what we will be doing today. Um, I will be removing my link from all future videos, all right? So every future video I do will no longer have Pegasus attached to it. Um, my stance right now is that um, I'm going to watch from the outside. If it starts paying again, of course, then we'll do a video like we always do. If it reverses course and it goes the other way, then great, right? Great for Pegasus. I'll be rooting them on. But as far as I'm concerned, Pegasus was a winning project. I mean, those that got in, when it started, those that even got in, and I was late to the party, right? Those that got in when it started, those that got in when I started, and maybe, maybe even a few weeks after I started. Most of you have gotten into the black or very close to it. Um, and if you've gotten into the black and started making a profit, then that is a successful platform. Whether it lasts another month, day, whether it doesn't do anything at all. Um, for most people that were involved in Pegasus, I do believe it was a winning platform. Um, where it gets kind of muddy is when people start thinking that this platform um, is going to last forever. It's one of those that can last forever. And it really was not, in my opinion, uh, built to last forever. Um, I don't think many platforms are built to last forever. There are also great platforms out here. I love Novatech, love funds, love these platforms that have been around and proven that they're going to be around for a while. Um, and Pegasus... <coughs> Pegasus was on its way. It was doing a great thing. However, um, if they decide to keep paying after they clear the balance, uh, I'm going to hopefully still have whatever I've invested earning for me. And if it's not, then, you know, if the withdrawals are coming and other people are deciding that they're going to join, maybe I'll be able to withdraw some referral commissions, but I won't be personally adding any money into this uh into this platform um, a lot of people in the discord group are adding their suggestions and i think that's great i think it's great when the community can come together and start to say hey what are the options for this platform moving forward that's fantastic right if the platform is actually listening if they are actually going to do it some platforms just playing on stringing you along just to let you know that they're going to leave and then they're going to blame somebody else. Some of them might even blame me because I'm doing this video right now. It won't surprise me because I've seen stuff like that before. Um, but the ball is really in the platform's court right now. If they want to bounce back and they want to show people that they are serious about staying around, they'll come back, start paying and allow people to make their deposits and continue on. Um, however, if that's not what they're going to do, if they're going to ask for new money, if they're going to clear accounts, just to move forward, you know, they can do whatever they want. I, I'm, I don't really care what they do, um, but I know that if they're not paying, then that's besides the point. Like anything, any solution that they have um, and the, the outcome is not that they start paying again, then it won't really matter. If, if they try to figure out a, a solution and then they want an influx of new money, no, we're not doing that. Um, we're gonna keep it right where it is 
And if it decides to come back and pay again, then we'll know about it and we'll talk about it, right? But if they don't, then we move on. Business as usual. This kind of stuff happens all the time. Um, and for those of you out there that have, and I'm gonna close my screen right now. For those of you out there that have stuff to say about, oh, I always have platforms that shut down, blah, blah, blah. Y'all obviously don't watch and I don't have time for y'all's comments. So those of you that understand what we do here at BOJ, we're gonna keep cranking out that crypto in many, many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less than that, all right? And I'm just showing y'all how I get down and how I do it. Um, with that being said, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west. If you ain't strapped, bound to get hacked, all right? Ask me how I know. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. I wish everyone the best, everyone that is still hoping for the best from Pegasus. Um, but my official statement is that I will be removing my link. Um, actually, it's already removed. Uh, so when I post this video, there will be no Pegasus link. And every, every video after that, there will be no Pegasus link until I um, believe that they are back fully functioning and running the way that they were. Um, and until that day, we're moving on. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.